Okay, welcome builders. Getting started with Pluspex really easy. Look, you've got a toolbar here uh, inside of SketchUp, and essentially you click on your walls. You can trace over plans, you can drag and drop them in there or whatever you want to do. You can scale them, and everything sort of makes sense. We've got a wall height, the header height, which is the top of our windows, you know, the construction type, whether it be masonry, double brick, whatever it is. Uh, and essentially, you can choose your timber sizes, your stud spacings, and everything required. Just click them, and they make sense because they've been written by a builder. You've got your material selections, you know, what type of material you want to put on the outside if you want to show the client a particular type of brick, or you might just want to use commons, and you can just select a brick and you can basically put your insulation in and everything if you want to but when you're starting straight out of the box just go and go submit now for whether we're tracing over the plan or drawing from scratch essentially all i'm doing is i'm left clicking with my mouse button and i'm drawing walls so you, know, you can imagine tracing over a set of plans here and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go shift and bang instantly i have the brick that i chose on there i have my cavity my internal lining and everything behind it. If I click this button up here, what it's doing is it's automatically separating everything for me. So if I want to see the structure behind it there, uh, whether you want to have blocking in between the walls, you can go back and change that if you want to. If I go back to all and said, okay, I want to create a roof. Now, Pluspec knows that when we're building the load bearing walls in this particular construction method is our timber here. So if I went right click walls, generate roof from walls it's going, you'll notice it's going to create a face here which means that the walls are going to line up with the timber not the brick and that's how we build okay you probably know that already go submit <clears throat> let's have a look what happened it put a roof on there for me it also put my overhangs in my fascia and my gutter if i wanted to put some windows in if i select a wall and i go to the window tool and I can choose the height or the type of window that I want to use. So you can basically just scroll over these things here and go submit. If I put a window in, it'll put in the studs next to my window for me. It'll also put in a head and a lintel to hold up the bricks. Right, if I put a larger window in, you can type in the width of these if you want to. Or you can just trace over your plan. And it'll put a larger lintel in there to hold up those bricks. If I went over the size of a lintel, so you don't need to know the size of a lintel, essentially, It'll put in a red one, and when we do a takeoff, which I'll show you in about two seconds. All right, that one was still within the size. So I'm going to go Control Z and undo that. I'm going to see if I can get a window in here that's bigger than the size that they'll allow the lintel. Okay, see so if I can get maximum size here. Okay, see that it went red at the top there. So if I go back and have a look. See it's red. I'm also going to go and put in a, a concrete slab <clears throat> underneath it here. Right click, walls, generate, floor face from walls. Created just a face and obviously if I want to create a slab, click on, click on slab there. And we know that most concrete slabs have a bit of a step down in them. So if I said, well, it's not thickness only. I actually want to have footings and everything. You can tighten your footing width, your footing depth, your recess width and your recess depth. Notice I've got 172 here. Go submit. And you see that it's got a recess in there. There's two things about this that's not actually right, is that I need to drop my bricks down to my recess, but I also need to drop them down to suit inside of my eaves there. So what I'm going to do, right click, walls, select all the connected walls, and I'm gonna change them all in one go. Go back to my wall tool, and I'm gonna put a 172 step down here and an eave in here. So manual overrides, External step down from my concrete, 172 if you're working in Imperial, right in inches. And I think it was a 20 degree roof, so I think it's around about 265 step down for my eave there. I can change my cavity as well if I want. Go submit. And bang it, redrew everything. But if I took my roof off, you'll notice that no longer do I put bricks up inside my eave. You can leave them up inside there if you choose. You can have raked eaves or, or whatever and go, I'm going to go back to all. I can change the type of roofing that I want, I can move slabs around, I can do a whole heap of stuff, but more importantly, for a builder, what is it going to cost us to do it? Well, what I can do is I can either select the whole model, and I can go and put prices in, click on the dollar sign. You only have to do this once, so if I want to put a price in for my roof, it might be $20 a square metre, I'm working in metric, and the fit price might be $22 a square metre to fit it. Fascia, same thing. 
fifteen dollars. All this, these prices are going to come out for me, and I say five dollars. When you're taking a guess, guys, so don't use these prices when you're doing it. Even some feet lining, gutter, timber, or wood. And remember, that, see, I put in a price there previously, and therefore it will remember what I put in last time. So I never have to go and do this twice. If I go save and update, it's going to save it. So next time when we open Pluspec, our prices are going to be in there. But more importantly. How do we get a full bill of quantities on everything inside of this model? Okay, I'm just going to go here and go here. It's asking for a job address. Go to here. <clears throat> It'll automatically open this up for you. Put in your company name. You can save it so you never have to do it again. Uh, I'm writing Pluspec. And my contact name is Andrew. Uh, my address. Uh, the job address might be, I don't know. Um, customer Street. You can put in your logo for your company. You can do a whole heap of things. And is it for a quote? Uh, and current version is one because it's the first time I've drawn it. It's all pretty simple. Things just make sense. Okay, go submit. And now if I go to here and click take off, it's going to do a bill of quantities on everything. So it's given me the concrete. It's given me the cubic meters or cubic yards or however whatever uh, you're working in. My termite barrier. Framing every single length of timber, heads over top of my windows. Remember before I went to brick hardware, I've got a lintel there at one meter and eight, and I've got another angled lintel at 2.4, but I've got one at 4.67. Says this lintel is over manufacturer's recommendation. Therefore, you get your engineer to check it out or, or get someone to certify it. Uh, if I wanted my roofing, it tells me how much roofing I have uh, and the quantities and the cost that I wrote in there before. I'm getting a price put together. If I go and edit that roof or move the roof, it'll update the price for me as well in the square meters that are in there. Uh, internal finishes, uh, everything that's required, brick hardware, ease, fascia, gutter, every length of gutter. Uh, there's insulation, a whole other thing. So guys, really easy to do a quote very, very quickly. Now this is something basic. Obviously, if you wanted to look at something a little bit more complex, this was done by a 17 year old in my office. Uh, it's a full, He's done a pretty good job. <clears throat> He's got steel in there. Well, you know, I gave him a bit of a hand with a couple of things. But the thing is, you don't have to sit down all day and trace over plans. You can actually get someone else to do it for you. It's pretty much, if you can join the dots and remember a couple of small things, uh, you're away. All the tutorials are built in, guys. So essentially, if you go to any tool, and I've just clicked on my wall tool there, at the top here, we have a little question mark. You click on that question mark, it'll take you to a video and show you how to use that tool. It's a big time saver. And when you put it in comparison to any other way of estimating, we're actually getting something that we can show clients what it is we're going to build for them. So if you're turning up with a sheet of paper and a set of 2D plans that probably look something like this, and I'm turning up with something like this, it's pretty easy to see why customers choose you over other builders, because you're just offering them more and you can do it very, very quickly. So not only do you get a bill of quantities, you can put a price together, but you also got something that the client can look at. So you can send them this model, they can download SketchUp, uh, and they can use that to look at their model at home. And essentially you can walk out the door, you can charge them for the quote. You can show them whole lots of things. So you can say, here's how your kitchen's gonna look. You can show them through the house, you can walk through things very quickly, and you can also you know, get right into pipes and bars and, and everything as you get better at it. Hope it helps out guys, I'll be interested to see how you go. Cheers.